All right, for breakfast today, I'm just having some avocado toast with some egg. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. And then we're gonna walk Pani because he needs to go to the bathroom. Happy Vlogmas day eight. I can't believe I've been this consistent, honestly. I'm pretty impressed with myself. <laughs> um, I have been up today since like 6.30 because I had to take Imani to work and um, I had an, a doctor's appointment at 8 o'clock. So after I went to drop off um, Imani at work, I went straight to my doctor's appointment because of traffic. I was going to get there like 10 minutes early and right as I park, I get a notification saying that my appointment got canceled. So. That's that. <laughs> uh, let's go this way, Pani. Come on. And so now, I'm like, damn, because I actually had a few questions I wanted to ask my my doctor, but it's fine. I think I could just message them, and they should get back to me by today or tomorrow. But right now, I'm gonna go do some DoorDash, probably for like an hour or two, and then I wanted to go to Walmart, but we'll see. Hey guys, so it's been quite a few hours now. It's about 6 p.m. and I actually ended up going to Target. Um, I needed to get just a few ingredients for dinner tonight, but as I started walking around the store, I started seeing baby stuff and as much as I wanted to get all the baby stuff that I saw, I just didn't get it because I was like, well, I don't need it right now. So, but anyways, I ended up getting, um, just a few things, um, like four items, I think. One of them being this ball that I wanted to get for a while because I heard that the last few weeks of your pregnancy, it's really well to practice swiveling your hips on an exercise ball to slowly start opening up your hips and being more flexible in that area, I think. can't remember what my doctor told me, but she recommended it and a few other people who have done natural labor also recommended it to me so I want to go ahead and got one of these it says it's best for people that are five feet to five five I'm five four so hopefully this ball is a good size and um, up to 300 pounds it includes the pump in there as well so I want to go ahead and blow that up and give it a try and See how that goes. <laughs> We're making progress. This is a workout. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I should I should just have Imani help me with this because I have like a weird phobia of balloons and like things exploding. Right now it's fine, but I feel like once it gets bigger, I'm gonna get scared. If I don't finish this, that means Imani I waited for Imani to come home and help me. Okay, so it looks pretty formed, but I'm scared. <laughs> it's gonna pop, dude. <laughs> what the heck? I have to inflate it this much. I'll just leave it to empty money and then I'll show you guys after. Um, hopefully, once it's fully inflated. But <laughs> if I don't show you guys, I'm sorry. For the next item, my older sister really recommended it to me because she has done breastfeeding for all three of her kids I believe but um, she's like there's there might be cases where you might not produce enough milk or if you're at the hospital giving birth and they know your breast they, if they know that you chose to breastfeed they might refuse to give you formula if you're not producing and um, so she recommended I get formula as a backup so I got this little six pack here it's like the newborn infamil uh, formula and I thought this was perfect because I'll pack this in the hospital bag oh my god I have to pack my hospital bag it's all getting so close you guys I'm so scared but um, that'll be a whole video within itself and like very very last resort I'll have this so Hopefully this comes in handy, which I'm pretty sure it will. The next item, I got a little rattle and teeth wristband. 
So look how cute these are. So you put this on the little baby's wrist and um, once they start teething, this little part here is very, it's like silicone. Um, so they can like chew on it and bite on it and hopefully like be soothing for them for when she starts to go through her little painful teething moments. <laughs> I still have to wash them so. The last item, oh no this second to last item, I've been seeing good reviews. So I got it, I got the little one just in case but it's this um, grain and grow oatmeal by Gerber and it's basically uh, oatmeal that you can put into breast milk and it's like a little meal for the baby so hopefully I end up using this as well which I'm pretty sure I will the last item is one of my boyfriend's Christmas presents so I can't show that one but it's something that he wanted so I got it for him and that's about it for my Target haul I am now gonna go cook some dinner I'm just gonna make some steak tostadas. I've never made them before, but I'm telling y'all since I've been at home and not working, like I've just been trying different recipes every day. Not every day, but at least every week I try different recipes. And um, this is one of them. So <laughs> fingers crossed it comes out good, but it's basically a tostada and then you put refried beans the steak, like the chopped steak, and then uh, lettuce, queso fresco, and then you can add um, avocados and sour cream if you like those. It's Plenty's uh, day seven advent calendar, and he knows now what ex what this is. Where is day seven? They are Snickerdoodle Holiday Shape Trees. Oh, it's a snowman. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Piney Pree. You also have a star one. And that's it for day seven.